Hi everyone, for the video for this week, I wanted to give you a very quick demonstration of one way that you might do the assignment for this week that's at the end of the module. So right now I'm looking at the assignment. It's a discussion where you're going to be practicing creating MLA citations for sources that you found in Cabrillo Library OneSearch. So you're gonna find two sources and create MLA citations for your source. And you're gonna base this on your research topic that you hopefully identified last week. If you'll recall last week when I was practicing the assignment, I chose student loan debt and the consequences of it, and maybe some examples of different consequences of student loan debt. So with my topic, I'm gonna to head over to the library website. You can just Google Cabrillo College Library. From here, you can either click search or one search. Either way, it leads you to the same place, which is a search box, and this allows you to enter your keywords. So I could start with just something very basic, student loan debt. This is a very general search. I got 100,000 results. I've got articles, books, newspaper articles, all kinds of things here. Um, I probably wanna narrow this down though, because that's a lot. Um, maybe if I try narrowing it to student loan debt consequences, which is kind of what I wanted to focus on anyway, right? Yeah, this looks a little bit better, um, down to about 700 results now. And if I want, I could even like use the left hand side menu to limit to scholarly journals only, for example. So I might check that box and apply that filter. That's one way to do it. Now I'm just looking at scholarly journal articles on these keywords. And I could keep playing around with these keywords. Like maybe I want to focus on, you know, anxiety related to student loan debt and see what kind of sources I can find on that. Maybe I want to play with homeownership. Okay, every time I change the keyword, it's a different set of results. So definitely try that when you're searching. From here, um, find something that looks potentially relevant, click on it, <laughs> and that'll open up a screen that will allow you to read the actual article <laughs> to learn more about what this is about. You can also scroll down and just get a description of it. In any case, if you decide this is something that you might be able to use, you can click the citation icon and then copy the citation to your clipboard. Now that I have it copied, um, and quick note, you can it's the MLA citation. That's what we're using in Library 10. There are other styles um, available as well, but we want MLA. And now that I've got this copied, I could paste this into my works cited list. If I was writing a paper, I could paste this right in. Um, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. So the only thing I really see wrong here is the all capital letters. But besides that, this looks great. So I can copy it. I can even go back over to my discussion and I can paste it in here by doing control V on my computer. And there it is. So yeah, that's just a quick example of how you might uh, accomplish the assignment for this week. Good luck.